Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about autoimmune thyroid condition like Hashimoto's and thyroid peroxidase antibodies. So thyroid peroxidase antibodies are elevated in several autoimmune thyroid conditions. And people have this question, can they lower their TPO antibodies? And the answer is that yes, you can lower the TPO antibodies. And I'm going to discuss all different ways you can lower the TPO levels for yourself. Hello, I'm Dr. Anshil Gupta. I help people reverse their thyroid conditions by making personalized functional medicine plans. All right, let's talk about thyroid peroxidase antibodies and what are they? So in autoimmune thyroid condition like Hashimoto's, your body starts producing antibodies to different parts of your thyroid gland. And several different antibodies are produced and TPO antibodies are the most common antibodies which are seen in thyroid disorders. Now TPO or thyroid peroxidase is an enzyme in your thyroid gland which helps in production of the thyroid hormone by utilizing iodine and oxidation of iodine. And thyroid peroxidase antibodies destroy this enzyme and doesn't let it function properly. So it causes a lot of inflammation and destruction in the thyroid gland. And that is the reason several people are not able to produce enough thyroid hormone and they go on thyroid medicine. But if you can lower your thyroid peroxidase antibodies, you can safeguard your thyroid gland and hopefully able to get off the medicines or improve inflammation levels in your body. Now, next question a lot of people have is that what does high thyroid peroxidase antibodies mean? So what they mean is that, you know, there is an inflammation process on an autoimmune process which is ongoing in your body. Now, the research studies have shown that TPO antibodies can be high in several diseases. 90% of people with Hashimoto's disease will have TPO antibodies being positive. People with Graves' disease can also have TPO antibodies positive. Generally, it's around 60 to 70% of people with Graves' disease will have TPO antibodies being present. TPO antibodies are also present in some of the thyroid cancers. Okay, so that can also be the reason of TPO antibodies being high. So these are several reasons of TPO antibodies being high. Now, the next most common question a lot of people have is that if TPO antibodies are high, does that mean I have cancer? So the answer is that no, not each and every person who has TPO antibodies being high has cancer. Only few cancer patients will have TPO antibodies being high. So it is very important to work with your doctor and get a complete examination and complete testing done of your thyroid, like ultrasounds, like thyroid levels, as well as all the antibody levels checked to make sure to understand what kind of thyroid disorder do you have, whether you have Hashimoto's, whether you have Graves' disease, or whether it is a condition where your TSH is normal, but your TPO antibodies are high, because that also happens in a lot of people in early stages of Hashimoto's disease. So get a complete evaluation, but no, the TPO antibody doesn't mean or doesn't confirm you have cancer. There is a very slight chance that can be the case, but in most people, that is not the case. The next question people have is that, what is the optimal range of thyroid peroxidase antibodies? Now, this is a great discussion because unfortunately, the range of thyroid peroxidase antibodies change from lab to lab. And in reality, the research also changes this range. Certain research studies shows that the optimal range of TPO antibodies is 35 international units per ml. But certain other studies show that the complete normal antibody levels is that 16 international units per ml. The research also showed that in some people where the TPO antibodies was less than 500, the destruction was not happening at a very fast rate. But beyond 500 of TPO antibodies, the thyroid was getting destroyed at a very, very fast level. So for me, I think if the TPO antibody levels are less than 30 or 35, then I think the destruction is happening at a very slow level. But again, it also depends on lab to lab. So please look at your lab ranges and make sure that your TPO antibodies are less than the range that is depicted by your lab. All right. Now let's talk about, let's say your TPO antibodies are elevated, then what can you do? If you go to your regular doctor, they will say you cannot do anything to lower their TPO antibodies. But in functional medicine, each and every client that we work with, their TPO antibodies are reduced. 
by doing certain things. The first thing that helps with lowering the TPO antibodies by following an anti-inflammatory diet. Food plays an important role. There are two aspects to the food. First of all, there is food which causes inflammation or causes elevated TPO antibodies. You need to remove that food. And second of all, you need to include food that reduces the amount of TPO antibodies and you need to include them on the regular basis. So the first thing, removing foods which causes elevation of TPO antibodies is first of all is processed food. Any kind of processed food, which is the processed meat that you might be eating or processed or fried food you might be eating, all those things we need to stop eating right away. The second thing is wheat or gluten. Research time and again has shown that gluten causes elevation of TPO antibodies. A lot of people have this concern that we have been eating gluten for centuries. So why suddenly gluten is causing so many problems? The answer is that the gluten that we were eating a century ago is totally different from the gluten that we are eating currently. Majority of the gluten is either a hybrid or a GMO variety of gluten. And the genetic material of that gluten is completely different from what it was a century ago. And that's the reason today's gluten gluten doesn't agree with our body and causes autoimmune diseases. Similar thing is dairy. Dairy is also not good for your body because the way the dairy is produced these days is very, very inflammatory and dairy again causes very much damage to your thyroid gland. So that is a, another food that you should eliminate. Sugar is another thing which causes high TPO antibodies and you should eliminate complete sugar from your body. So these are the foods that you need to eliminate. Now, what are the foods you need to eat? There are certain foods which have shown that they can improve improve the TPO antibody levels. First of them are non-starchy vegetables. Non-starchy vegetables like green leafy vegetables, like kale, like spinach, like cabbages, cauliflowers, broccolis, cucumbers, those are all great that can improve your TPO antibodies. Several people are concerned that their regular doctors have told them not to eat these vegetables because of old research study which told that these food are goitrogenins. But in reality, TPO antibodies are lowered. There is a research study which shows that TPO antibodies go lower if you eat these foods. The second food is eating food which is high in omega-3s, which can be chia seeds, flax seeds, which can be fatty fishes like salmons, tunas, all of those things will help you to lower your antibody levels. Then good fats. Yes, good fats will help lower inflammation, which can be avocados, which can be olive oil, which can be coconut oil. Coconut is also a good source of fat, your ghee. Organic uh, A2 ghee is also a good source of uh, good fats. So these are all things from the dietary perspective if you do on the regular basis that can help improve your TPO antibody levels. Now let's talk about other things that can help to improve your TPO antibody levels. So the other thing you can do is taking selenium supplementation. Selenium is a mineral which is needed by your thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormone. It is also part of enzymes which uh, reduces inflammation in your thyroid gland. And because a lot of people are deficient in selenium or they do not have enough selenium, that causes inflammation in the thyroid gland. So taking a selenium supplementations between 100 micrograms to 200 micrograms can actually help to lower antibody levels. Several research studies have been done and that shows that selenium is very, very beneficial for anybody who has TPO antibody levels high. The next supplement is zinc. Zinc is another important mineral which is needed by your thyroid gland for proper functioning. Zinc is needed not only to reduce inflammation, to improve immunity as well as for production of thyroid hormone and also conversion of your thyroid hormone which is the T4 hormone to T3 hormone. So zinc is a great supplement that you need to take that can help to lower the TPO antibodies. Now interesting fact is that the research study shows that zinc can lower antibodies only when it is taken in combination with selenium. So that's the reason take zinc and selenium together and that will help you to lower your antibody levels. The next thing which can help to lower your antibody levels is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids have shown time and again that they can lower inflammation in your body, can lower inflammation in your thyroid gland. And when lowering this inflammation, that helps your thyroid gland to function better and that also helps to improve your TPO antibodies. Now, again, several people are taking different kinds of omega-3 supplementation. It is very important to know that omega-3 is taken in the dosage between 1000 milligrams and 2000 milligrams is very important. And only EPA and DHA 
omega 3s have shown in research to be beneficial for your body so only take those supplement in that form the next supplement which has shown to be improvement for tp antibodies is inositol inositol is a great supplement which certain research studies have shown that if taken with selenium can lower your tp antibodies can normalize your thyroid numbers also so again inositol is a great supplementation it helps with lowering inflammation it helps with rebalancing several hormones in your body like female hormones like also insulin levels and also adrenal hormones so that's the reason inositol is great supplement that you can take there are generally not much side effects of inositol so again safe to take the last supplement that you can take to lower tpo antibody levels is magnesium magnesium improves vascularity of the thyroid gland and also improves immunity in your body and by doing those things it improves your tpo antibody levels so again magnesium is another supplement that you can take on the regular basis that will help to lower your tpo antibodies the last thing you can do to actually help to lower your tpo antibodies by reducing your stress levels yes stress causes tpo antibody levels to go high and if you can reduce stress by doing deep breathing exercises by taking a break from your regular schedule or doing meditation that will again help to lower your thyroid peroxidase antibodies so you see there are several things that you can do that will help you to lower your tpo antibodies so don't let anybody tell you that you cannot lower your antibodies by doing these things you can do it i hope you like this video if you do then please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye